No, that after me, after me, I ain't got a problem. I ain't got a problem. I've got no fixation. I've got no fixation. I don't hear the rhythm. I don't hear the rhythm. There's absolutely, positively nothing wrong with me. There's absolutely, positively nothing wrong with you. Not me. You. <laughs> I'll destroy your sense of rhythm. You'll destroy my sense of rhythm. Hurrah! Hurrah! I did it once for Ringo Starr. <laughs> Sorry, just uh, <clears throat> clearing my throat. <laughs> oh, do you think you can do it? I know I can do it. I Say know it. I can do it. Say it to yourself, I'm cured, I'm cured. I'm cured, I'm cured, I'm cured, I'm cured, I'm cured, 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 cured. Go away, you naughty drums! Go away, you naughty drums! Yeah! the range of his talents. And not only that, as a marvelous uh, musician and dancer, he became an extraordinarily effective interviewer. But the thing about it was his empathy with children. He himself, father of four, he knew all about children, and the way that he identified with them and they with him was uh, pure chemistry. <laughs> He's done 17 there in that second second, and that's faster than the 16. It's a fantastic performance. He's up back to 12, now and up to 11. 16 again, that equaled the world record. And 17 is past it. 18, 18, 22, 23, 24. <laughs> that's fantastic. Into 24, that's enough. You shattered it. Well, well he broke nine uh, world records uh, in the 22 years of record breaking. And to my mind, the most staggering was not the high-speed tap dancing record of 24 strikes a second, but the courage in attempting to do a million taps in under 24 hours, when he wasn't in the first flush of youth, and he in fact did the million in 23 hours and 45 minutes, and that meant that he sustained 11 taps a second for almost a whole day. That, to my mind, was staggering. He made that fear quite open to everybody, um, but his way of of dealing with that fear was to face it rather than to let it beat him. And he had a, a funny way of um, turning it into like a show. He'd sing whilst he was doing a record attempt. He'd go da 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 da, -da lots. and I think that was a nervous thing that he had. But it was him saying, "You're not going to get the better of me. I can do this." Oh, I do like to be. Oh, I don't like to be nice to see. Yeah, yeah! 
And it's a record breaker! And it's all tiny guys! Dedication, 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 that's what you need, if you want to be the best, and if you want to be the rest, mm -hmm. dedication's what you need. At the very beginning, when his illness was diagnosed, he rang me and halfway through telling me what had happened, uh, he broke down and uh, I didn't know what to say. You know, it was such a uh, shock because it was the last book in the world to expect to have that to happen to him. He didn't deserve it. And then about half an hour later, he rang up to apologise for breaking down. Now, uh, that... Uh, I, I was speechless. I didn't know what to say. One of the reasons that I've possibly developed this cancerous growth in my lung is because whilst playing the trumpet in smoky rooms, I inhale great gulps of air. You have to fill your lungs and you're getting all that smoke. You're bashing it into your lungs there. And so that's the way it, it happened to me. It's a most important fact, this passive smoking. If I only have a few days left, I want to spend those days making people realize what they're doing. They have to know. And so if it's me that it's going to be the example, then let it be me. Thank you and welcome to a brand new series of Record Breakers. And it is great to be back for the 21st series. Yeah, sure is, isn't it? Oh, I'm delighted. How do you like is. that, hey? That's a record for the fastest growing hair. <laughs> what about the fastest haircut? I, I, don't, I never really saw any why me in Roy. I'm sure there was some why me because he was a non-smoker, you know. Um, but he, once again, it's the same, same as when he was attempting a record. It was face it, you know, face the problem and you can beat the problem and that's how he was and he really believed that he would overcome the cancer um, which let's face it, he did the first time round and I don't think it affected his work at all it was almost as if we were working with a, with a man who had nothing wrong with him and he was, he was riddled with cancer, he was such a brave, brave man In a few minutes time there's going to be enough energy coming out of this building to put power gen out of business, I can tell you when enough of these people turn up, they'll not only break a record, but they'll also be helping the Royal Marsden Cancer Appeal, which is very close to my heart. Hey, hi, how are you? What's your name? Neil. Neil. Um, um, and uh, are you having the same treatment as me? Um, what cancer? Well, I've got lung cancer. I've got cancer in my stomach. And how long is the treatment going to carry on for? I've got one more treatment. Really? And what did they say? Um, this is the last treatment when I'm going on the following Monday. Yeah? So you're happy? that we do have a world indoor record. And the figure, 13,222. If you want to be the best, and you want to be the rest, mm -hmm. dedication's what you need. If you want to be a...
Derek, that was a very, very emotional film. It must have been a proud moment for you. I've never had uh, an ovation like that ever in my life before. It was amazing. I, I was just what they call gobsmacked. It did wonderful things as well for the Royal Marathon, didn't it? Oh, it sure it did, yeah. There was one little boy there that you met in the film who wrote yeah. to me and said that you promised that you would wave to him. So would you give him a wave? I certainly will. It's hey! Neil. No, no, it's not, it's not there. He's up there in the audience. He's up it's there? Neil. Hey! <laughs> wow! How marvellous! Hey, good to see you! Wow, look at that! That's terrific! Roy's attitude to the whole thing, and I think this is why in the end the whole country were behind him, it, because he just fought it. The only way Roy knew how to deal with that is fight it. And I think he brought so much admiration for people that may get cancer in the future. I think they will think Roy Castle fought it. And I, and I think they'll be much better off for, for doing what Roy did rather than folding up. I think he was a lesson to us all. We were together in Pickwick, first of all in 1965 in America when he played Sam Weller on Broadway. And we both got nominated for Tony Awards, which is a sort of uh, a stage Oscar. And when he came back to do uh, Tony Weller, Sam Weller's father, in last year at Chichester, the whole company was inspired by him. Oh, women are a mixture of meanness and cruelty I sometimes wonder why men don't despise them They bicker And I quarrel They're vain And immoral And some men quite naturally try to come It was a tremendous effort for him to get up in front of But he made it look easy And that was the thing, that, that, was, that was, I think, the, the keynote to his whole life you made things look easy yes that's the trouble with women they want to get married and they do and that's the trouble it's there you'll find the trouble the worst and only trouble with pain oh yes it's there you'll find the trouble with me to see you <laughs> and I love your show yeah I, really? honestly really? I, would, I wouldn't miss it really if it never came on again I wouldn't miss it Thanks. Uh, what about this application form you sent into record break oh you got it you got it yeah I got it okay but some of these records you claim to have broken I mean there just isn't any any any, any competition at all most unmatched colors on one shirt at any one <laughs> time <laughs> That's a record, that's a record. Yeah, but nobody else would wear it, would it? <laughs> but there is a record. Oh, that, the... Yeah, yeah, that you're part of. Oh. It's a good one, actually. Yeah. It's a uh, man in Peru claims to have engraved the entire text of all Geoffrey Archer's novels on a pinhead. Yeah. <laughs> well, how did he get you to stand long as a round for that long? How do you like the end of the tag? <laughs> I'll tell you what, I'll make an exit. Are you ready?
Congratulations on the OBE. Oh! <laughs> I rang one day, about ten days or so before he died, and he insisted on speaking to me, and he, he was saying goodbye to me. And, uh, you know, it, it was quite matter of fact. He said, uh, I won't say goodbye. He said, I'll say au revoir, and uh, we'll meet. And, and there was that, I don't know, he was he was almost too good to be true, but uh, I mean, what you saw is what you got, and uh, I think his faith and all of the family together it was a tremendous. I think it had died a couple of years before if if, if he hadn't had that faith to sustain him. <laughs> Praise him on the trumpet, the psaltery and harp. Praise him on the timbrels and the dance. Praise him on stringed instruments too. Praise him on the loud cymbals. Praise him on the loud cymbals. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Oh yeah, hallelujah, praise the Lord. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Yeah, hallelujah, praise the Lord. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Hey! People just don't seem to think it will happen to them, you see. That's the problem. You can keep saying, look what's happened to me, and I didn't even smoke. Look what's happening to 40,000 people every year and uh, the, nobody seems to take any notice because it's like it won't happen to me. It's too far away, you know. Yeah. When young children get a cigarette and people say, this will eventually kill you. Uh, eventually, it's like, well, I'll never get to eventually. And then they say things like, well, by the time that I'm old enough to get cancer, there'll be a cure. So, well, we thought that. Some people might say he'd lost the battle with cancer. He, he didn't really because he, he lit a torch with this cancer clinic in Liverpool that other people can take up and carry on so that uh, his name will live on long after lesser performers. Any regrets? I don't think so. I don't think so, no. I don't... There's regrets that I never made it big, but then again I think if I had gone for the big stardom business, perhaps I wouldn't have my wife and four children and tremendous amount of huge, huge house full of love here. Maybe I would have gone for stardom and lost out on the love. Somewhere over the rainbow Way up high There's a land that I heard of once in a lullaby. Someday I'll wish upon a star and wake up where the clouds are far behind me. Where troubles come like lemon drops away above the chimney tops. That's where you find me Somewhere over the rainbow Bluebirds fly Birds fly over the rainbow Why then, oh, why can't I? Somewhere 
Roy Carson, a great man who's very 